Knowledge of your design tool can greatly influence your design process and lack of knowledge will frustrate you and lengthen your project duration generally. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through the Figma toolbar and I'll explain what each of the tools are to be used for. My name is Adilami and I'm a member of Kairos Designers. You're very welcome. Hello there, you're welcome if this is your first time on this channel and if this isn't, you're welcome back. As I said in the intro, I'm going to be taking you through the Figma toolbar. Without further ado, I'm going to open our Figma. Now I'm using the Figma desktop version, you can be using the Figma web version, it's the same. So now I've opened the file, you should already know how to open a file and I'll start with the first thing here which is the figma outlined icon now you can just see this generally it's not regarded as a tool by most people but i believe that it contains some things that would help you in the beginner stage of your design journey now you can see here file you can create a new design file from here and yeah just fig jam file new from sketch file you can place image directly from here you can save local copy meaning you can save to your pc you can save to version history you can show your version history now you can export now apart from exporting from the design panel which is this side apart from this you can also export from here you can also export to pdf you can do that here too now moving on you have the edit and that also has it you can copy the properties of a particular um components you can copy different properties you can copy the svg property you can copy the css property you can copy it as png that means as a picture you can paste you can find a particular thing on your file for those that really have files that they've named specifically they can just find what they've named um this also has some other things now pick color i i'm going to give you a very very interesting tip at the end of this video watch till the end to find out what that is now select all on the canvas you can select inverse select all with the same variant i really really use this for most of my designs and it saves me a lot of time now you can view a number of things sometimes i leave viewing ruler on to just help me with proportions from time to time but other times i just prefer to leave it off um now you can see a number of things i zoom in this particular part is just for zoom now you can you i use most of these shortcuts in my design that's why a lot of people have said that okay they really don't get what some of the things i do that's because i do it absent-mindedly because it's I already know how to use them so the more you use your design tool the better you become with some of these shortcuts you don't even for me i really don't come here to when i do my designs i just use shortcuts for most of the things i do and while some of them are things that okay i read about the others i just stumble upon by accident and i keep using them now moving on we have object and this really really helps you can see group selection create section convert to section and all others and look at this sweet one here auto layout so i saw a meme on twitter some days ago and the person was like any little thing the person clicks the person presses shift a and that means auto layout just auto layout your button auto layout your card and so many different things now this is also create component control alt k you can reset all changes made you can detach instance that that's if you imported a component into your file from somewhere uh, you can just detach it or let's say you've created a component i want to make some really really dire changes to it you can just detach it and make those changes to it you can see main components and yeah bring to front bring to back send forward send backward and yeah it's just really really good to use flip horizontally flip vertically now you find out that when we do some of our designs while watching through the remaining tutorials which you should really do though because they are really going to help you and just fast track your design learning process now flatten selection yeah once you've created you've selected the number of texts and things and you flatten you just find out that it's just it, just one thing it's not just grouped anymore for it. this is really good when you use the pathfinders or when you subtract or add intersect some shapes to form icons now you see this is for text this is to arrange now figma does a great job of helping to auto arrange you see when you select a group of things there's one blue 
icon at the bottom of just the bottom right of that selection and that will just help you to auto arrange it now vector to join when you are working on a particular shape this is plugins your different plugins iconify material symbol these are two plugins that i just taught on recently if you really really need icons for your project and if you are a design beginner you are going to need icons for your project they're really really helpful you can just check the video on our channel i'm going to be putting the link to it right now you can just go to see that you see your widgets preferences now you can just for me i made some prefer preferences that would help me um and just you know really improve my overall design snap to pixel grid snap to geometry you really really want to check these snap options because they just help you and generally they help your design process to be faster but for those that are really really precise and they are diverting from the generally known design rules or guidelines you might want to uncheck that now libraries are a list of the things that you already have on your design file now moving on to this first tool here um you have the move tool which is v let's say let me just create something quickly two frames and yeah let me just create another frame here i'm going to be teaching you about the frame tool so you see once you come here and you click move or you just press letter v on your keyboard it helps you to just move it from place to place you can also reduce the size move it all around and the next one here is the scale you can just press k now there are some times where you are using text and really you cannot change the size of text normally except you scale it you scale text you don't just shrink this text anyhow on figma so you just press k and it's it just scales it whether larger or smaller so that means the it's the, it remains the same ratio from the vertical and horizontal side instead just you can see for move you just you can just do that anyhow but for scale it retains that particular scale of vertical to horizontal ratio so let's move on you come here now frame you are going to work on most things in figma you are going to be doing them inside frames and yeah that's just creating frames you press f now a very very important tip press a on your keyboard and you see what comes out here these are presets so you can just create some there, some frames have been created before so they've just been automatically created once you click on them they just come on board and the next one is slice next one is slice so basically for this slice once you have so once you have images you can just slice them and pick out that particular one that you want uh you can just pick out the particular one that you want. i really don't use this tool often because i don't have a cost to use it but i feel that some of you might need this and yeah that's just it so now we have a video on how to create shapes so this basically deals with shapes and images you see rectangle to create rectangles as it implies you see lines to create lines to create lines here vertical horizontal diagonal lines lines of varying degrees you can just create them now you see this particular arrow you can also come here and set the way you want the arrow head to be like um, then another one is the ellipse just okay I, I really don't think okay select the ellipse and now once you hold shift it creates a it creates a what's the word now it creates an ellipse or a shape that has the same that is square in dimension so it has the same um, width and the same height so the same thing with your rectangle once you hold shift you can see just square um yeah let's move on so we have this polygon now for polygons they are quite a special case i must say so you come here and you can increase this you can increase the amount of sides do the decagon um octagon nonagon and you can also come here and change the radius 
come here and change the amount of sides so that's it look at this this looks beautiful by the way so let's move on um we have the star you can come here and just select you can also change the number of sides the star has and you can also change this i don't know what it's called but it just the okay the ratio is what it's called so you can change that now some of these things are not things that you'll be using um on your day-to-day -day design there are tools that you will definitely be using more than others like the frame the rectangle and let's say the ellipse too so here you have your pen your pen tool you see here now there are some people who are legends with using the pen tools i just go around to see people's designs from time to time and you see that these people use the pen to create different crazy images now you can edit this what you've drawn here you can just edit it and do a number of things to it using this here you can see bend to you bend the sides you see paint bucket here you feel this particular image and that's one of the ways by which icons are created that will be a separate video for another day so um let's just give this a feel now uh here is our text tool lovely you are going to be using this most of the time so once you click on your text tool and come here just click on just click on your letters clank on them as much as you would and yes i am going to be creating another video that really help you with text for your various design now you come here this has like three functions i guess yes resources now you come here you see components you can just search for components that you have in your design if you really don't know what components are no need to um rush yourself you can just take it a step at a time and go forward to research what the component is later may make a video on that also for beginners now here plugins iconify material symbol i made a video on them recently and from the community you can see some all some plugins that would really really help you um here you have widgets um these are from the community i really don't have widgets on this file as you can see it's empty and here you have your hand tool you see the hand tool just basically pans from one side to the other um on the design board and finally this is comments this is comments now, i think i'll go here i'll go towards this place to help those that don't know about it now comments is used it's a collaborative feature on figma so you are working on something and you want to comment or somebody you give somebody access to view your design and the person would like to comment the person will just come here drop the comment bubble and type okay work on this and you know send that okay my internet isn't on now so it can't send but that's basically what it works for then you can just press v to go out of there v would directly no matter where you are on most times v will take you straight back to the move tool now here drafts untitled you can just rename your document from here um now share share will give you access to share your documents as the word says to outsiders invite people to see your design and this play button here is for presentation let's say you've prototyped your design or you haven't you just want to see how it looks like on particular screens it helps you to see what it would look like so let's say you are designing for iphones you can just see what it would look like basically now this 42 percent here is the zoom view now once you press shift 2 it will zoom to selection let's say i select this i press shift 2 that's going to help you zoom to your particular selection now you really 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 need to know about this and that's the um keyboard preferences you can just come to it you can check the you can check the um keyboard shortcuts and just know know about it now one thing i do i really didn't finish my point on the keyboard shortcuts once once you check through the keyboard shortcut it will help you basically to know and to increase your design speed now i didn't explain this i'll go back to it i think it, i skipped that so here you have editing when you have vector shapes that are editable here you just see this option here to edit it here means to create components and here means to mask if you don't know how to mask we have a video on our channel that teaches you how to mask now there's a particular tool i use 
um it's a shortcut and i believe that to really really help you let's say you have an image here and you want to copy a particular color you can just press i and click on this and you see it immediately copies that for you um there are a number of tips i would have really love to show but they are really eluding me right now but that's it for now that's it for the tools here um thank you so much for watching thank you so much for following if this really helped you you could subscribe to this channel to enable us create more content for you guys because this content i believe that are really going to help you in your design journey we are growing to and we really really love to help you become better as a designer so please like this video share with your friends or share with someone you know is trying or having a hard time with design tools and that's it for this one We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.